From rags to riches, the rise of El Mencho is a story of ambition, violence, and greed. From the ruthless violence of the carnivals to his opulent lifestyle, the kingpin has captivated the world's attention. Let's take a behind-the-scenes look at the luxurious life of El Mencho and explore the lavish mansions, private jets, and exotic cars that define his world and discover the billion-dollar lifestyle that fuels his empire. The name El Mencho strikes fear into the hearts of his enemies. But what do we really know about the man behind the myth? What does it take to become one of the richest and most feared men in Mexico? With billions of dollars at stake, the drug trade has a far-reaching impact on both Mexican society and the wider world. Despite efforts by law enforcement to crack down on the cartels, the influence and power of the drug lords continue to shape the social and political landscape of Mexico. Jalisco Do Generation Cartel CJNG, is a Mexican criminal organization that operates mainly in the state of Jalisco, but has also expanded its operations to other parts of Mexico and the United States. Its leader, Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes, also known as El Mencho. El Mencho is one of the most wanted men in Mexico and the United States. Although CJNG has only been around for around half a decade, they have already accomplished what it took nearly a generation to do. The cartel is in charge of half of Mexico, including the country's coasts and borders, and has created trafficking routes across dozens of nations on six continents. Like no other criminal enterprise to date, CJNG has expanded its operations. The cartel has simultaneously kept a low profile in the United States and accumulated a sizable war chest, which some experts estimate to be worth $20 billion, by concentrating on profitable international markets in Europe and Asia. Ruben Osteguera Cervantes, one of six brothers in a poor avocado farmer family, was born in Narancho Bichela, Dusty Mountain Pueblo in southwestern Michoacan, a lifetime away from Guadalajara's high rises on July 17, 1966. The town is located on the outskirts of Tierra Caliente, or Hot Land, a harsh, impoverished region known for producing both legal and illegal agricultural products. To help support his struggling family, Ruben dropped out of school in the fifth grade and began working in the fields. By the age of 14, he'd advanced to guarding marijuana crops. Within a few years, he packed up and moved north to California. He was living in the Bay Area by 1986, when he was arrested by San Francisco police for having stolen property and a loaded gun. A booking photo from the incident shows Mencho, 19, wearing a hoodie with a blank expression and acne on his baby face. His first child was born two months later. That was where it all began. El Mencho is considered one of the most powerful drug lords in the world, and his organization is responsible for the production, trafficking, and distribution of large quantities of drugs, such as methamphetamine, fentanyl, and heroin. The CJNG has also been linked to numerous acts of violence, including murders, kidnappings, and extortion. Mencho established his company swiftly, and his business operations became increasingly intricate. In order to import drugs from South America, he made significant investments in submarines. He even hired Russian Navy engineers to assist in the design of the submarines. By concentrating on other markets like Australia, where a kilo of cocaine can fetch four times as much as it does in the United States, he avoided American investigation. Mencho also used more conventional methods, like utilizing models as human cover for narcotic smuggling. Sea gang traffickers would fly into Mexico with talent from Colombia and Venezuela, while posing as magazine photographers and carrying bogus credentials. The presence of the women would keep authorities preoccupied, allowing the drugs to enter undetected. Mencho used the complementary strategies of corruption and intimidation to increase his power. Members of the CJNG who have been apprehended have testified about how he despises disobedience and enjoys making his victims beg for forgiveness prior to executing them. He is a god who will execute your whole family based on not much more than a rumor. He simply has no respect for human life. Omencho is one of the most powerful and elusive drug lords in the world. He has been described as the new face of Mexican organized crime, and his cartel, the Jalisco New Generation has become one of the most feared and violent criminal organizations in Mexico. But with great power comes great wealth, and El Mencho is no exception. El Mencho, the crime czar, is living a life of excess and luxury while his associates carry out his dirty work. As for El Mencho's lifestyle, it is believed that he lives a luxurious and extravagant life. He reportedly owns several properties, including a mansion in the hills of Jalisco, which is surrounded by a high-security perimeter and has a private helipad. He also owns a ranch in the state of Michoacan, 
which is believed to be one of the main drug production centers for the CJNG. In Lower Rado, the largest plot of land is 50 hectares. In the center, a house surrounded by fruit trees sits, and various stables indicate that a previous occupant enjoyed horseback riding. Rancho El Palmer, with its three luxury homes, pool, and riding ring, is two kilometers away and is thought to have been Mencho's hideout, while another 20 hectares in La Ica has been linked to the gang leader. Omencho is said to have a private army of heavily armed men, who are responsible for protecting him and his organization. He also reportedly enjoys a range of expensive hobbies, such as horse racing, and is known to frequently attend lavish parties. Omencho's wealth is estimated to be in the billions of dollars, and he is known for living a life of luxury that is beyond the imagination of most people. His empire is built on the sale of drugs such as methamphetamine and fentanyl, and the money that flows into his organization is used to fund a lifestyle that is both extravagant and dangerous. Do you know that drug lords often have vast wealth? Some drug lords such as Pablo Escobar were among the richest people in the world during their time. Escobar's estimated net worth was $30 billion at the height of his power. Omencho's main residence is a sprawling mansion in Jalisco, Mexico. The mansion is said to be heavily guarded and is equipped with state-of-the-art security systems. It is also rumored to have a network of secret tunnels that are used for smuggling drugs and other contraband. In addition to his mansion, Omencho is known for his love of exotic cars and private jets. He is said to own a fleet of luxury vehicles, including Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Rolls Royces. He also reportedly owns several private jets, which he uses to transport drugs and other goods across international borders. Omencho is also known for his generosity, at least towards those who are loyal to him. He is said to have given large sums of money to local communities and to have provided financial assistance to the families of his associates who have been killed or imprisoned. Omencho has built a personal hospital. The facility was constructed by the 54-year-old drug kingpin in El Alchuado, a community some 250 kilometers southwest of Guadalajara, the capital of Jalisco. To avoid using government hospitals if they are shot by security personnel, Latin American gangsters frequently employ medical specialists. Yet Almencho's decision to construct his own hospital is said to have been motivated by his reluctance to leave his network of remote hideouts, among which El Alchuo is said to be one, to seek medical attention for kidney disease. The clinic was used by the drug lord's workers, as well as townspeople. It is believed that he uses his wealth and power to maintain his criminal empire, paying off officials and law enforcement agents to protect himself and his organization. Interesting fact, drug lords can have a cult-like following. Some drug lords, such as Trockman El Chapo Guzman, have been viewed as heroes by some people in their communities. This can lead to a cult-like following that makes it difficult for law enforcement to capture them. Omencho is known for being a consumer of Argentine roasts and meat from Sonora, as well as for his fondness for roosters, exotic animals and the luxurious ranches where he has hidden during this time to evade the authorities. For years, the CJNG leader has sought refuge in ranches and rural properties, primarily on the coast of Jalisco State. Exotic animals, strange items, luxury cars, jewelry and weapons were also collected in these locations. The same that El Mencho has created as the leader of the CJNG, a criminal organization that has grown significantly in recent years. At one of El Mencho's mansions, the federal prosecutor's office discovered a Bengal tiger, a Harris eagle, a yellow-breasted toucan, two Kara Akara birds, and three military macaws. In addition to the six, nine-millimeter caliber pistols, two were gold-plated, one with an image of San Judas Tadio, and the other with precious stones and a skull and Ferrari logo. Despite being a notorious criminal, El Mencho has managed to live a life of luxury and indulgence, surrounded by expensive cars, luxurious mansions, and private jets. While some may find it fascinating to see the wealth and power that drug trafficking can bring, it is important to remember the harm that such criminal activities can cause to individuals and society as a whole. Do you believe that media coverage of drug lords' luxurious lifestyles glamorizes drug trafficking?